Hi everyone, welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Yang Chunxue with Xinhua News Agency. Well, right now, I'm at the vast land of coldness in South Argentina. Actually, this is the very site of the giant hydroelectric project jointly held by China and Argentina. More than one year ago, this project has started. And today, we are going to find out how this project is going and how it helped to stimulate the local economy and how it helped to promote the two countries' relationship. So please now follow me and let's take a look. Well, first, I'd like to make a general introduction about this project. Um, the project is spearheaded by China's construction and an engineering giant, that is China Gezhou Ba Group Company. And as you see now, this project is being built in the remote southern province of Santa Cruz, some 2,000 kilometers south of Argentina's capital, Buenos Aires. And the project will build two hydroelectric dams along the Santa Cruz River and boost the hydropower generation. And as you see around here, you can see some heavy machines are working on the site. And actually, it has been more than one year since the project breaking ground. And the project has gone through several initial construction phases, including excavation, earthwork, and filling, etc. The project is actually the uh, world's southernmost hydroelectric project and one of the biggest undertaken in Argentina in the past decade. And we could also see the Santa Cruz River over there. Well, harnessing the power of this large Santa Cruz River, uh, the project, once completed, is expected to generate 4.95 billion kilowatt hours of additional power for the country. And it will help to boost power output by more than 6%. And this is the figure provided by China Guzhou Ba Group Company. And this project is located in the city of Galafade. And this city is very famous for its beautiful and amazing glaciers surrounding it. And at the beginning, there are some concerns about the environmental impact of the project. But uh, the project has made some additional studies and environmental management plans for the dams for example, to reduce the height of the dam and reduce the number of the turbines to avoid the environmental impact on the nearby glaciers and plants and also animals. Well, in fact, the uh, local authorities speak highly of this project's contribution to clean energy production um, because the project will cut reliance on their uh, fossil fuels and also will enormously improve the Argentina's energy structure. And also it is estimated that the annual savings on the imported fuel will reach 1.1 billion US dollars.
Hey guys, I'd like to introduce you one of our engineers of this project, Mr. Pablo. Hey Pablo, nice to meet you. Yes, yeah, nice to meet you too. So maybe you could tell us something about your daily job, daily working here. Okay, uh -huh. we are working here now about 1,000 persons, right? Uh -huh. uh, in the peak of the project we will be 3,000. Uh, but daily we have a routine like a general work like we are living in a villa in behind the mountains just about eight kilometers far from here uh, we work um, 12 hours per day and uh, our routine is we take breakfast uh, in the uh, at 7 7 30 then we come to work and during the day we have a, a stop a break at the midday to have lunch and then we, we take lunch in the villa again and we come back in the afternoon and we work until 7 7 30 according to the possibilities of the climate so, so how do you think living here is it the con what about the living conditions here what well it's a challenge you know when you are an engineer you know that the, you, you will be fine doing this kind of work. So it's something that began first. Once you decide what to study, what to work, uh, you will be feeling good when you are in a, in a challenge like this. Uh, it's, it's not hard because it's, it's uh, like if you are doing something that you like, you will uh, enjoy the time working here. Uh, mainly we, when you can work with this kind of equipment, you know, we have not all day you can get a, a truck with 700 horsepower. You see? And this kind of this set of equipment are these uh, laborers working hard to get something that is a really a, a, a challenge for the project, for the province and for the country. Uh, working in dams like this is not something that you will be, uh, you will get in, in your life probably, at least in Argentina, you will have two or three opportunities in the, your life to work on it. Uh -huh. So uh, this is really nice as, uh, and, and the hardness of the, maybe the climate, the weather, the wind or the snow or the cold, is not, it's not um, uh, something uh, that, that um, stops you because you, we, uh, like yes, it is, it's something probably there are another profession that have the same challenge. When you're doing what you want, it's not matter what you have. Yeah. So, so how do you think this uh, project will help to stimulate the local economy? Yes, um, I think that it, first, as I said, you we, we now we are having a lot of people working from the province, and we will have a, a lot of more. Um, the first think of the project is to in some cases to um, uh, teach the people to work in some kind of, of special work like this to handle machinery to operate machinery and to give them the chance for in the, at the end of this project to work in another projects and, and have the knowledge and the, the training uh, to work this kind of equipment that is not so common in the country. So all these workers come from the nearby towns? Well, uh, the, um, the focus that the company took is uh, mainly take people coming from the province to help the local area because as you can see there is a, uh, mainly a desert area mm -hmm. so there are not too much opportunities to work. So, and this is the way that we help, the, the project helps directly to the people. Uh, training, giving, giving work, uh, giving the opportunity to continue with the company in, in the future projects. Um, if they, ha they do the work well and they are good workers, I'm sure because I am 30 years in the, in the, in the business. I, it's nice to come to this project because uh, every year, every time you find uh, old friends, old co-workers that you have been working before. And this is something that you are collecting in the life you give to the people, give the training and help them to develop. They are really, really big. And only with, with this kind of, of trucks we can do the movement. And up to now we are doing 30,000 cubic meters per day 
of excavation. Okay. You see, we need to, to make a lot of excavation here, about 20 millions of cubic meters. We need to excavate and fill with the different size of, of material uh, about 10 millions of cubic meters. It will be a, a very nice work and big, and it takes time. One of the challenges, as I said before, is the weather. We have two, two issues, uh, the wind and the temperature. The wind you, we have in November, November and February, about 100 and 150 kilometers per hour. The speed of the wind is that. And when you have uh, so high velocity, you can't work. In fact, we stop working at 60 kilometers because it's dangerous for the workers and for machinery. And the other challenge is uh, the snow, the, 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 the temperature. Uh, we are prepared to work under several conditions like uh, low temperature, but we sometimes when, when, when we have to do some kind of work like concrete, concrete works, you need to be prepared because the cold doesn't allow you to pour concrete. So you, we have uh, and we are preparing to heat the rock to to don't to, to, to get the concrete at the right temperature because if it's too cold you can't pour so all the challenges that we have are have been considered in our plans and in our uh, managing of the management of the project and uh, because the experience of the people that is working on the site, uh, we hope, we are sure, we don't hope, we are sure that we will be dealing with the project very well. And do this river is frozen in the winter? No, because it's always is running, it's flowing, and there is no place where you can get it uh, really frozen, no. Can you see, well, we don't have our, now the camera, but you, can you see this excavation? The river finally will come through this place ah. where we will have the turbines generating power, yeah. the power plant, hydroelectric power plant. And okay. Stop here. Yeah. As I say you, the river now is running for that side, for the, we call right margin, uh -huh. right margin. We are stand now in the left margin. Uh -huh. Once we finish the main part of the field here, and we build the concrete works here, we will uh, end this part. Finally, we will block that part and the river will Come get and up, the lake get and get, get it up. Yeah? So, actually, this is the height. Um, so, actually, what we are standing here is the site, the height of the dam. Yes, yes. Here, like yes, here. Yes. And uh, all this part will be filled with lake. By water. A nice lake, yes. Oh, nice a lake. very nice lake up to probably, uh -huh. I don't remember, but uh -huh. center, uh, several meters. Several meters? Yes, yes, oh. yes. Kilometers probably yes. So all this water from the water of the glaciers. Yes. And they could drink. It's a very clear. Yes, drink. yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh -huh. And look, the water that now is running, flowing, uh -huh. uh, free, uh -huh. will come here. Mm -hmm. Will we will the water will run the turbines, uh -huh. generate energy, uh -huh. and keep flowing by through this channel uh -huh. to the river again. The channel. Yes. The part of yes. And and match the river again. That channel that was Yes. Left. Yes. Oh. It's not finished yet, but uh -huh. we will do uh, some so we could see a spring. Yes, 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 oh. yes. 
So the water will first be held by the dam, yes. and then the water will be lead to this channel, yes. and then they will flow to the river again. again right. And you know, through this process, there will be some turbines. No, the turbines will be here oh, in the yeah. highest part, right? Okay. Running with the flow of the water. And something that is very important is that, uh, talking back uh, about the environment concerns, is that the, always the river during construction and during the, um, the working time, when it's finished, the river flow will keep the minimum water necessary for the life. Because in the past, you probably have uh, uh, seen that the, the companies or the construction were uh, to make the dam and cut the f water flow for a time uh -huh. until you finish and you give the water back to the river flow. In this case, and because the concern of the environment, we keep the, what we call ecological flow. Right. To keep the leaf, leaving the, the fishes and everything uh, running down the river. Actually, this is quite environmental friendly because it's kind of hydroelectronic. Yes. You know, the hydroelectric plants like this. I want to come back. The hydroelectric plant like this uh -huh. uh, are really ecological friendly because they don't harm nothing else than uh, nothing because you need to uh, arrange make arrangement to to keep the water flowing uh -huh. as it was in before the dam uh -huh. but uh, having the the improvement of the generation okay. in, so in small place and in a place like in the desert you can see about ar around and you will see that this mainly we call Estepa Patagonica. Estepa is some kind of, uh, of environment okay. uh, from the Patagonia. So millions of years ago, this place is sea? Millions of? Years ago, this yes, place yes, is yes, sea. Because yes, yes. I see the, the stones know, here is kind the of white, around. The white ones, the right, white. right, uh -huh. right. And you can see that the um, look this the cliff at the, at the on the border the cliff, uh -huh. the cliff. condo the cliff, cliff right the name it's of the, the this is a cliff uh -huh. it's a long cliff and you can see that the the main course of the river mm -hmm. in probably in the glaciation age mm -hmm. a glacier was coming and pushing the the earth to the sea uh -huh. and make this kind of channel you can see you we have a, a cliff down there uh -huh and a cliff on there. And this cut, the big cut, was done millions of years ago. Oh. Um, Under the sea. Yes, 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 yes. So you can imagine millions of years before what is like this. Yes. And then several years later, what has become yeah. this. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, uh, talking about uh, uh, environment, we also keep the stakeholders and all the things related people and uh, history, culture or whatever around the project is taken care from the company. There are archaeological issues, items that can be taken and there are uh, uh, caves, there are many places that all the people in, char in charge of the environment is taking care, taking notes and, and making the, the not to assist to keep safe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pablo. It's very nice to talk I, to you. I wait you on 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, okay. Hi, guys. And this is um, all about today's uh, visit to this uh, hydroelectric project. Uh, jointly held by China and Argentina. And I hope you enjoy it and thank you very much.